بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ پی اینڈ جنکشن بفور دس وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ پی ٹائپ اینڈ این ٹائپ مٹیریلس وین وی ڈوپ اے پیور سیمی کنیکٹر ود پینٹا ویلنڈ امپیورٹی وی گیٹ این ٹائپ مٹیریل and when we dope a pure semiconductor with uh, with trivalent impurity we get p type now when a single crystal of germanium or silicon are doped in such a way that one half one half is doped with uh, trivalent impurity and other half is doped with pentavalent impurity then the boundary between p type and n type materials this boundary between p type and n type is called p n junction i repeat when we have a single crystal of germanium or silica and dope it in such a way that one half is doped with trivalent impurities and other half is doped with pentavalent impurities then the then the boundary and the interface this one between p type and n type is called p n junction this whole crystal is continuous as we know these two p type and n type materials are not two different blocks actually uh, this uh, this uh, crystal is continuous okay if we join a piece of p type semiconductor to a piece of n type semiconductor such that the crystal remains continuous this is very important thing the crystal remains continuous at the boundary a p n junction is formed a p n junction is shown in the figure this is p n junction in p type region holes are majority charge carriers you can see here we have holes in majority charge carriers and few uh, are electrons as well in p type while in n type electrons are majority charge carriers you can see electrons in majority are there and few holes are also present there these are the holes present in n type and they are minority charge carriers a p n junction cannot be formed by simply joining or welding of two pieces together as i i have already told you these are not two separate pieces actually this is a single crystal of germanium or silicon and is doped in such a way that one half is doped with pentavalent and other half is doped with trivalent impurity uh, as i told you a p n junction cannot be formed by simply joining or welding of two pieces together because it would uh, produce it would produce a discontinuous crystal special fabrication techniques are used to prepare p n junction the most important one is the uh, melting process melting process se hum p n junction jo hai wo aam taur pe form karte hain just after the formation of pn junction electrons will migrate from from n type to p type where they fill holes where they fill holes or we can say hole migrate from p type to n type where they recombine with the electrons whatever we can say either electrons move from n to p or holes move from p to n 
if we say electrons uh, move from diffuse from n type to p type there they fill up the hole and filling up the hole makes filling up the hole makes immobile negative ion here immobile negative ion here as we know p type and n type are electrically neutral they don't have any net charge but when junction is formed when p n junction is formed electron diffuse from n to p mean we get a net negative charge there so we have here here you can see we have a negative ion we have a negative ion filling up the hole filling up the hole makes immobile negative ion while removal of electron removal of electron makes a immobile positive ion here you can see positive ion these all are the positive ions and they are formed there because electrons were removed electrons were removed because they uh, diffuse into the p region they diffuse into the p region from n to p electrons migrate from n to p electron migrate and when electron come here electron come here suppose they fill the holes they fill the holes and when hole is filled it becomes immobile negative ion it becomes immobile negative ion and in n region electrons are removed and they make uh, immobile positive ion so here we have a region here we have a region which is uh, which uh, which contains only immobile positive and negative ions and don't have any charge carrier in electron or holes are not here yahan pe kisi kism ka electron ya hole maujood nahi hai only immobile positive ion and negative ion yahan pe maujood hain immobile positive or negative ion maujood hain and this region is called depletion region kyunki electron aur hole jo yahan se deplete ho chuke hain khatam ho chuke hain aur deplete ka matlab khatma hota hai electron aur hole yahan se recombine ho ke wo neutralize ho gaye and this neutral region is called depletion region just after the just after the for uh, diffusion a chargeless region is formed in the middle of the junction in this region no charge carriers are present this neutral zone is called depletion region this depletion region behaves like insulator because hum jante hain insulator mein kisi kism ke charge carrier present nahi hote hain so depletion region bhi insulator ke taur pe behave karte hai so what is potential barrier due to the migration of electrons and holes the n region becomes positive theek n region becomes positive while the p region becomes negative this establishes an electric field ab yahan pe electric field paida ho jayegi from positive to negative from positive to negative yahan pe is taraf is direction mein positive se negative ki direction mein इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जो है वो पैदा हो जाएगी जिस तरह हम जानते हैं कि एक कैपेसिटर में एक प्लेट पॉजिटिव चार्ज होती है एक नेगेटिव चार्ज होती है तो पॉजिटिव से नेगेटिव तरफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड मौजूद होती है सो दिस इस्टेब्लिश एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अक्रॉस द जंक्शन डेक्टर फ्राम फ्राम एन रीजन टू पी रीजन एन रीजन से पी रीजन की तरफ आप देख सकते हो कि एस फिगर एक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड पैदा हो जाएगी दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल प्रोड्यूस Uh, potential because we know that we have already studied potential gradient minus delta v delta v by delta r is equal to e is equal to e of that is equal to e electric field or we can say delta v is equal to e delta r delta v is equal to e डेल्टा आर डेल्टा वी इज इक्वल ई डेल्टा आर हो सकता है जो डेल्टा आर जाकर मल्टीप्लाई हो जाएगा 
सो डेल्टा द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द चार्जेस की जाके तो मल्टीप्लाई हो जाएगा और हमें डेल्टा बी मिल जाएगा पोटेंशियल मिल जाएगा दिस पोटेंशियल इज कॉल्ड पोटेंशियल बैरियर पोटेंशियल बैरियर विच स्टॉप्स फर्दर डिफ्यूजन ऑफ चार्ज कैरियर्स इन टू द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन मीन ये जो यहाँ पे बैरियर क्रिएट हो जाएगा डिप्लेशन रीजन में ये फर्दर मूवमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्राम एन टू पी और होल्स फ्राम पी टू एन जो है वो स्टॉप कर देगा उनको ये जो है वो फ्लोर नहीं करवाने करवाएगा दिस रीजन इज कार्ड दिस पोटेंशियल इज कार्ड पोटेंशियल बैरियर और उसको हम वी बी से हम डिनोट करते हैं और इसकी वैल्यू होती है जर्मीनियम के लिए जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट होता है ये जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट पोटेंशियल बैरियर होता है फॉर जर्मीनियम एंड फॉर सिलिकॉन इट इज़ जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट होता है एंड दिस पोटेंशियल कैन नॉट बी बैड एक्सटर्नली बाई वोल्ट मीटर इसको एक्सटर्नली तौर पर हम वोल्ट मीटर के जरिए बैड नहीं कर सकते हैं नो वी नो वी स्टडी द इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन बैरियर पोटेंशियल द बैरियर पोटेंशियल ऑफ पी इंजेक्शन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन टेम्परेचर रिमेंबर बैरियर पोटेंशियल टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंट होता है एज इंक्रीज द जंक्शन टेम्परेचर क्रिएट्स मोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड होल्स इन द दो रीजन एज दीज चार्जेस डिफ्यूज इन टू द डिप्लेशन रीजन इट बिकम्स नैरोअर इट बिकम्स नैरोअर और उससे क्या होगा दिस मीन्स दैट देयर इज लेस बैरियर पोटेंशियल कितने जो जो डिप्लेशन रीजन की वृथ होगी वो डिक्रीज हो जाएगी डिस्टेंस डिक्रीज हो जाएगा चार्जेस के बीच में जो हो आइन्स हैं उनके बीच में डिस्टेंस कम हो जाएगा जिसकी वजह से हम कहेंगे कि जो पोटेंशियल है वो डिक्रीज हो गया है एट हायर जंक्शन टेम्परेचर ओके सो फॉर बोथ जर्मेनियम एंड सिलिकॉन दी वैल्यू ऑफ बैरियर पोटेंशियल डिक्रीजेज बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम हेयर अलाव फेस